Hello and good afternoon everybody. This is David Joyner coming to you again with another tutorial. Hi. I hope you enjoy it. I am having a little difficulty today getting these things done the right way. This is actually my second attempt at this tutorial. Today we'll be using the usual Micron 01. And I'm coming in here now <coughs> to do some inking on this elf. The original tutorial was the uh, penciling, <clears throat> and if you guys like that kind of stuff, I will try to do a better job at getting that done the right way. Um, the original uh, pencil tutorial was uh, was messed up, so I'm just hoping you guys all like this one. Anyway, we're inking our elf, and we're going to take our time, and we're going to do a good job on him. I think in this particular uh, less is more. I'm gonna, I'm going for simple uh, clothing. Um, I want the stitching to show uh, some simple lines, and uh, nothing more than that. Usual sort of greenish, elfish clothing colors. I don't know what color his shirt will be. Maybe earth tones. Maybe brown leather. I don't know. I'm giving him uh, long, slender fingers. I'm giving him big hands. I like the idea that he's kind of a, a wood elf or a wooden sort of woodland wood elf type thing. I was thinking about maybe giving him green hair. I was thinking about doing this as a winter scene. I thought that might be kind of fun for everybody to see. That way I can play around with the colors a little bit. People see stuff like this, and uh, I think that their ideas of the way to color something doesn't, they don't really think about uh, what can be done in the realm of color. But uh, we are going to play with this one. And I'm going to show you guys some cool stuff. Boy, the sun is beautiful today. It is one shiny day out here. Sunday. I'm currently enjoying the Dark Elf series, uh, the uh, Driz Durden uh, Homeland book one, written by R.A. Salvatore. I find him to be a fascinating writer, and I have to wonder sometimes what goes through someone's mind when they're writing a story like those. I have to, I also think to myself, what, I mean, he had no idea that he would be doing these these books for years and years and years of real time. And uh, it's just, uh, I have to wonder. Remember to pace yourself. Try not to move too fast. Some lines you want them to be very elegant, and other lines you want to take your time and make them look kind of choppy. I have highlighted out the different values in the tree with pencil and I'm going to go in here in a second and uh, I, uh, I'm trying to do a better job at remembering to clean my fingernails before making these videos. Nobody wants to see any grime under the nails when, when his hands are in front of the screen. And it's surprising what will show up. Sort of a silly thing, but my mother had to point that out to me. We're at about four and a half, five minutes now, and uh, 
this uh, two, 10 minute 48 second tutorial. You'll have to forgive me for the length of it. I really had no intention of this tutorial going as long as it has. I will try harder in the future. I'm actually considering the idea of putting a castle in the background of this illustration. Why don't you guys comment below and tell me if you think that's a good idea or if you've got a better idea for something in the background of this illustration. I thought a castle sounded pretty cool to me though. Hey hon. My last tutorial that I did didn't work out, so I'm doing a, just finished a new one. As, you have to forgive me if the audio has uh, stopped for a second there. I had to take a pause. Take a pause for the cause of being a good dad. We're having a uh, turkey dinner tonight, and uh, my son is hungry told him let me finish this tutorial and it's lunchtime and then we can continue uh, waiting for this bird to get done so I went in and I selected three points along the uh, the uh, line of the of the trees there three different points and I made each of those points be a tree that is the closest to your eye this one here and then there's two more trees and each of those trees is closer to your eye than the trees behind them even though some of the trees are actually bigger than the others this tree is uh, in front of the trees to the left and to the right and same as the other one I just finished inking and then the next one will be on the other side of the of the shadowed foreground tree If you guys want a tutorial in doing uh, horizon lines and doing uh, tree lines, you can I can specify that. There's actually some of this illustration you cannot see, which is below the page, below the the view of my camera. But I can zoom out for making this a larger illustration. I try to squeeze a lot into one illustration. I think it's important to have good detail, and I don't see any reason in uh, in making these uh, horribly simple. The la in the last illustration we did about the monster, that I think was probably about as simple as you're going to see from me. I prefer to have these complex backgrounds. So you can see at the bottom here, I'm actually these just putting a couple of simple lines in at the bottom of the illustration. Again, this is not something I would do normally for myself. This is something I'm kind of doing for you guys, the, the new beginners and the new artists, the ones that want to do this kind of stuff and don't really know where to begin. We're at eight minutes and 38 seconds and we're getting close here. It's a 10 minute and 48 second tutorial. Again, I'm apologizing for the length of this tutorial, but I wanted to make sure I did it right. And I was getting a little irritated at the uh, fact that the previous tutorial was a waste of time. So I just wanted to make sure I got this one correct, and give you guys a little extra, give you guys a nice little finished piece of ink work here. And then uh, I'll come in and, and uh, in the next tutorial we can do shading. Maybe we can limit these to maybe four or five tutorials. I'm thinking at the most six and each one about 10 minutes. Um, maybe 11 or 12 minutes for the coloring tutorials. And we'll break it up in, into half. So if you stick through this one and the next one and the one after that, that will see us through the inking and through the shading process and then the final two or three tutorials will just be about coloring. And uh, we're at about uh, 10 minutes now.
And again, I want to take the time to say if you have watched this this far, then you are a real artist. You definitely want to learn this stuff, and uh, and I will do and I will do my best to uh, bring this kind of thing to you here real soon. Uh, I want to also say thank you for joining me again here at the Artist's Corner, and uh, where we will take you step by step through these illustrations. I thank you all very much, and you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you again real soon. Make sure to subscribe. Bye now.